Hey there, fellow dog lovers. In this video, we're diving into a topic that is near and dear to many pet owners' hearts. Crate training. Whether you've just brought home a new puppy or adopted an older dog, crate training can be a game changer for both you and your furry friend. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the ins and outs of crate training, from why it's important to how to do it effectively. So grab a cup of tea, cozy up with your pup, and let's get started. First things first, let's talk about why crate training is so important. Many people mistakenly think of crates as cages or punishment devices, but when used correctly, they can actually provide a safe and comforting space for your dog. Crates mimic a den-like environment, which appeals to a dog's natural instincts to seek out a cozy and secure spot to rest. They also serve as a valuable tool for potty training, as most dogs are reluctant to soil their sleeping area. Additionally, Crates can help prevent destructive behaviors, such as chewing or getting into things they shouldn't. Overall, crate training can provide structure, routine, and a sense of security for your furry friend. Now that we've covered why crate training is important, let's talk about how to choose the right crate for your dog. There are several options to consider, including wire crates, plastic crates, and soft-sided crates. Wire crates are great for dogs who like to see what's going on around them, while plastic crates offer more privacy and security. Soft-sided crates are lightweight and portable, making them a good choice for travel. Whichever type you choose, make sure it is big enough for your dog to stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably. You want to create a space that feels like a cozy den, not a cramped prison cell. Once you've selected the perfect crate for your pup, it's time to introduce them to their new space. Start by making the crate inviting with a soft blanket or bed, some toys, and a few treats to entice your dog. Place the crate in a quiet area of your home, away from high traffic areas or loud noises. Encourage your dog to explore the crate on their own terms, without forcing them inside. Use positive reinforcement, such as praise and treats, to create a positive association with the crate. Remember, patience is key. Some dogs may take longer to warm up to the crate than others. Now that your dog is comfortable with the crate, it's important to make it a positive space for them. Never use the crate as a punishment or leave your dog in the crate for extended periods of time. Instead, use the crate for short periods throughout the day, gradually increasing the amount of time your dog spends inside. Make sure to provide plenty of opportunities for exercise, play, and socialization outside of the crate. You can also feed your dog their meals inside the crate to create a positive association with it. Remember, the goal is for your dog to see the crate as a safe and cozy retreat, not a place of confinement. One of the most common reasons people crate train their dogs is for nighttime sleeping. Crating your dog at night can help them feel secure and prevent accidents or destructive behaviors while you're asleep. Start by placing the crate in your bedroom so your dog can feel close to you. You can also cover the crate with a blanket to create a den-like atmosphere. Make sure your dog has gone potty before bedtime and remove any water dishes from the crate to prevent accidents. If your dog whines or barks at night, try not to give in to their demands. Instead, reassure them with a calm voice or gentle pat until they settle down. For those of you with new puppies, crate training can be a lifesaver when it comes to potty training and preventing accidents. Puppies have small bladders and may need to go out frequently, especially during the night. By crating your puppy when you can't supervise them, you can help them learn to hold their bladder and establish a routine for potty breaks. Remember to take your puppy outside immediately after they wake up, finish eating or drinking, or playtime. Consistency is key when it comes to puppy training, so be patient and stay committed to the process. Before we wrap up, here are a few quick tips for successful crate training. Be patient and consistent. Crate training takes time and effort, but the results are worth it. Use positive reinforcement. Praise, treats, and toys can help create a positive association with the crate. Never use the crate as a form of punishment. You want your dog to see the crate as a safe and comforting space. Gradually increase the amount of time your dog spends in the crate. Start with short intervals and work your way up. Seek help from a professional trainer if you're struggling with crate training. They can provide personalized guidance and support. And there you have it, folks, a comprehensive guide to crate training your dog. Remember, crate training is a valuable tool that can benefit both you and your furry friend. 
By following these tips and staying patient, you can create a safe and comfortable space for your dog to relax and unwind. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pet care tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and happy crate training.